We wanted to celebrate the importance of us having been around for 50 years. The Camaro is art as a definite statement for each generation. When it came out in 1967, it hit spot on with the times. There was a very active, uh, youthful movement expressing oneself by wrapping Chevrolet sheet metal around you. I have a fondness for that Gen 2. The car is you personified. Its fans share a lot of creative passion for the car. Passion for performance and for styling. That was passed along in every generation. I would define the 80s as an era of excess. The sky's the limit. Out of the showroom, onto the drag strip, IROC was a force to be reckoned with. Such a cool car. I mean, it was, it was an awesome car. The fourth gen was a little bit of everything. The styling was very decade appropriate. It just kind of lived on its legacy in this era. Now all of a sudden it's gone after four generations. I don't think anybody ever lost the faith that it would come back someday. And so when it actually was time to bring it back, it was the most exciting times. Like, could this really be happening? We need to take what worked well in the first gen and get a contemporary design. So people look back at the fifth gen and say, I gotta get one of those. I think we've done a really good job tying some key track-related Camaros of the past into the sixth generation. It looks lean. The feature lines are much stronger. It looks like a faster car. Still the same fighter, but faster and stronger. We feel it's our duty to come in every day and try to make the Camaro better today than it was yesterday. El momento de la despedida es el momento de la convocatoria, como te digo, cada semana. Y desde un lugar emblemático de esta lindísima ciudad turística que es Villa Carlos Paz, en la provincia de Córdoba, me despido y te convoco para que dentro de siete días nuevamente nos juntemos aquí en el Garage TV.